Welcome back. We will continue from the previous video. Last video we achieved interval and communication so that all the PCs can communicate each with each other. I mean, workers' domains are communicating with each other. But that was not feasible because uh, we need plenty of cables and interfaces for the router. I mean, that is okay for a small small network. But if you have a, a more network, more broadcast domains uh, with a single router, it's not a feasible solution. So what we can do is we can create sub interfaces on routers for individual VLANs. So how can we achieve this? We just need to connect a single cable from a switch to the router. And that port must be a trunk port on the switch. So here I connect 23 to the router. I need only one cable rather than three cables we see last video. But if you have more than uh, three VLANs, it's still the same. There is only one cable needed. Here I'm going to the command line of the route uh, switch and making the 23 a trunk link so that the switch can um, forward all the traffic, I mean all the VLANs towards the router. I mean the switch encapsulate that packets towards the router and the router need to decapsulate it. So the router should know the encapsulation method. So we will add one more command on the router. Uh, here we can see that there is a uh, trunk links but uh, that is getting not not active that's why not inside not showing 23 right right here but don't worry we will see it uh, once the interface is up so i'm moving to the router now just make the interface up that's all so interface of 0 slash 0 no shutdown that's enough no do not give an ip address for the interface I'm giving and I'm, I'm configuring sub interfaces like interface fa0 slash 0.10. I mean 10 is uh, for VLAN 10 and adding one more command encapsulation to 1q 10 for the VLAN number and adding the IP addresses. IP addresses here is 10.100. Here I need to configure three sub interfaces like fa0 slash 0.10, 0.20, 0.30. 10, 20, and 30. I mean 20, what you have heard is for management purpose i mean to easily management 10 for vlan 10 like that but you can choose whatever the number is there are plenty of in the sub interfaces available so here you see i configured 10.100 for fa0 slash 0 10 therefore i'm also configuring the next one is uh, interface fa0 0 20 encapsulation to open q20 and the ip address is 20.100 and I'm moving to, oh, I made a mistake. Okay, let me remove that uh, encapsulation dot one q thirty. Okay, give me a sec. Okay, encapsulation twenty becomes okay. And uh, going to the interface f zero slash thirty, and then adding the encapsulation thirty and adding address thirty dot hundred. That's all I needed. No other configuration required in the router because right now I mean all the traffic is coming from the switch to the router and router three interfaces. I mean this packet is going inside and identify the three sub interfaces and the router across. I mean going to the other interface and the same interface and reach the other broadcast domain. Try to ping from 10.1 to uh, 20.4. You can see it trying to I mean ARP. Is trying to find let's see and two request timed out maybe okay okay TTL value is 127 and uh, uh, that is successfully communicating with another so let's simulate how the packets go from the source destination so 10.1 it sends this to the switch and switch sends the router and router send back to the switch and it crosses across the other switch and reaches the other VLAN and then going across. It means that there is an overhead and uh, switch to router. If uh, whenever he wants to travel, it will go from. Thanks for watching this video and uh, please subscribe to my channel.